Hello people this is Mohit once again and at this time I'm going to do a tutorial on uh, image slice show you can call it a flash photo gallery all right so uh, let's start then this is uh, Adobe flash professional CS5 and uh, we will be working with app action script 3 uh, see the main aim here is to use uh, action script without using it now isn't that confusing I want to use action script and uh, yet I don't want to type uh, action script but I want to use something which is ready made uh, that comes with the uh, flash CS5 called code snippets uh, we'll see as we go along what exactly I mean by that first things first let me click on window go to uh, common libraries and uh, click on buttons uh, what I'm uh, doing here is I'm actually pulling up a ready-made button mm, classic buttons and then arcade button uh, a red colored button alright so I'm just pulling it up onto the stage let me close this fine now I click on timeline here and uh, what I want to do is on frame number one, two, and three, I want to have uh, separate images. So. so basically, this photo gallery will have three images. Okay, so back to frame number one. Let me import the first image. So I click on import, import a stage, and uh, getting ready to pull one image now. Okay, this is the first one next I select frame number two right click and say insert keyframe here I will like to keep the button but I will like to replace this image so I delete this image first click on find once again import import to stage and uh, okay now um, let me click on frame number three down here on the timeline right click say insert keyframe uh, get rid of this image and replace it by importing my third image mm, okay this one is fine right so as you can see on all the three frames we have different images let me give an instance name uh, to the button the red classic arcade button okay here on frame number one the instance name that I've chosen is <coughs> excuse me next next on frame number two I'll call this button next again but on the third and the last frame I'll call this button by an instant name, instance name called pref pref or previous. So it's next, next, and previous. The reason uh, I gave the name previous or pref is because I want uh, the action script to perform a little differently. And again, as we go along, we'll we'll see why uh, we have different names on the first and the second compared to the third frame for the same button okay now let's start uh, attaching uh, some action uh, script without actually typing it out so I'm on the first frame I select the red button okay and uh, thereafter I go into actions and then I promised you that I, I really don't want to type the action script so I click on quote snippets now quote snippets provide you ready-made uh, action scripts and then I choose the second entry from the top timeline navigation 
and thereafter I choose uh, click to go to next frame and stop I double clicked on that and as you can see here it actually inserts in the window a ready-made action script also if you notice here down here on the timeline it actually creates an action layer since uh, the script cannot be placed directly on the object flash creates a different layer where it actually puts the action script this one here okay so basically uh, what this action script says is that uh, whenever the button is pressed it'll just uh, move on to the next frame and it'll stop there but if I actually run the movie now it'll start uh, going from frame number one to two two to three three back to one and start looping so in order to stop that I need to place a stop function as well on this frame so I choose the first entry under timeline navigation which is stop at this frame I double click and there now we have the stop function here as well this these are the com comments and this is the script uh, this is the script and these are just the comments and they really don't play a major role the comment status okay so why not uh, test it out at this stage it's always a good idea to test your um, flash uh, you know the uh, preview the published preview time and again so as you see it actually stops on the very first frame doesn't uh, jump on the second or the third frame but I'm expecting when I click on this button that it should jump onto the second frame and stop there indeed it uh, jumps onto the second frame and stops and uh, let me click again this time it actually jumps onto the third frame and stops if you remember on the very first frame the instance name for uh, the button is next and the same is true for the second frame as well that's the reason on the first and the second frame when the button is pressed it actually moves on to the second frame and stops but if you notice on um, the third frame if I press this button which actually depresses if you can actually uh, uh, notice carefully it depresses making it a very cute button uh, nothing happens that's because uh, the button on the third frame is called prev the instance name is prev and so far I haven't attached any script to that so let me close up this preview and um, I can close actions as well let me go on to the third frame select the button here if you notice the uh, instance name is prev and uh, so far I haven't attached any script to this so let me do that windows Mm, actions code snippets this time go to a, a specific frame and stop so what I'll choose here is go to frame and stop the second entry from the top under timeline navigation double click and here I'll just replace this number 5 with number 1 so basically what this uh, script is doing is whenever the button prev or the button with the instance name prev is pressed uh, the script is telling uh, flash to go back to the home frame or the first frame and stop uh, let's uh, test uh, this uh, movie out the SWF file out let's see what happens so next frame next frame first frame second frame third frame first frame second frame third frame so it's, it's working uh, per perfectly well so uh, I'll close uh, this uh, published preview I'll close uh, the scripting box as well the scripting frame the action scripting frame and uh, let me just uh, recap what I have done I, I created uh, three different frames and on each frame we have three different images 
Now the button is same on all the three images, but it has a different instance name on the first and the second uh, frame called next. On the third frame, the name uh, of the button or the instance name of the button is prev. Uh, wherever the button is called next, I have uh, attached some action script and the script says that you need to jump to the next frame the adjacent frame um, which is after this frame and stop there but uh, when I click on uh, the button on the third frame where the instance name is prev it's supposed to go back to the first frame where it started off and hence it uh, loops now now that uh, we have achieved step number one I want to uh, include something else as well, the making uh, this uh, specific image gallery really look uh, effective. This time, I go back to frame number one and select the image. All right. So far, it's just an image. It's not a movie clip. And in order to attach some action script to this, it needs to be converted to a movie clip. And if I don't do that, Flash will do it for me. Let's see how it does that. So I select the image, go to Windows, and then Actions. Actions to attach some action script. OK. And as I promised, I do not really want to touch uh, or do not really want to type action scripts. So I uh, click on code snippets, ready made action scripts. Thereafter, I double click on animation. Mm, I move down and select the second last entry under animation, which is fade in a movie clip. So I. Uh, double click it says that since your selection or the image is not a movie clip flash will automatically convert and automatically create an instance name for this image before applying the code snippets that's absolutely all right i say okay and if you notice uh, it's put in some com comments and uh, some ready made action script now what this action script does is it fails in the object and if you notice uh, let me close this up if you notice uh, this image has become a movie clip and uh, the instance name for this movie clip is movie clip 1 automated process by flash either you make it a movie clip or flash says I'll make it for you because to apply any action scripting to an image it needs to be first converted to a movie clip okay we will uh, uh, you know do the same uh, process we'll repeat the same process with the frame number second and third image as well I'm on to the frame uh, number two select the image on frame number two it's still a bitmap image as you can see there it's not a movie clip windows actions code snippets fade in a movie clip flash chase since it's not a movie clip it's a bitmap image I'm going to convert this to a movie clip and give it an instance name I'm fine with that okay I'm moving on to the third frame see here third frame windows actions I beg your pardon, let me close this up. Image on the third frame selected. Windows. Actions. Code snippets. Double click on fade in a movie clip. OK. All right. So let's close this window up. File. Publish preview in Flash let's check out so if you notice uh, the first uh, movie clip actually fades in very nicely very good click the second uh, image also fades in very nicely from a uh, hundred percent transparency to a zero percent transparency it gains opacity and uh, it's 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 good for the third image as well 
first image, second image, third image and it's looping uh, nicely, great. So guys, if you notice, this uh, photo gallery not only does uh, move on to the next image, it actually does so by losing its uh, transparency. So guys, I really hope you uh, enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something new. If you have any questions, please do write to me. I'll um, make sure that I, I try to answer uh, them. Uh, you have a good day. See you again. Bye-bye.